Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Today I'm gonna review this product from WR Performance. It's a new air filter cleaner. It's supposed to work really fast on both petroleum and non-petroleum products. So stick around. You know, personally, I stopped using uh, petroleum products for my uh, air filter because, uh, look, this is the bell, bell ray that I bought like two years ago and it's still pretty much full. I just didn't like that it's super sticky and it was very difficult to clean it. And I want to clean my filters very often, so I was looking for the option that will be much easier. And uh, I started using No Toil no and I, I like the products. But these guys are saying that uh, even though you use a really strong oil like a Bell Ray, this will clean it in two minutes. Just uh, sink the filter in the, in the product, uh, and let it sit, and then squeeze it out. It takes like two minutes and then rinse it in uh, water and it should be nice and clean. So today, let's give it a shot and see if it really works that well. I got brand new bucket for this project. Let's pour it in. This thing is also biodegradable. So if you are using biodegradable oil, you can just flush it down the toilet or cleaning your kitchen sink or something like that. All right, so this is my Husaberg air filter. Pretty nasty, a lot of oil on it. So let's see. Let's sink it there for two minutes. It's 51. So I'm gonna just squeeze it and work it in. Saturate and, put, and squeeze it out. It smells pretty good too. So just work it, work it in like that. And I can see that uh, a lot of the oil stuff is coming out of, of the filter. You can actually see what's written on the filter. It's been uh, like 30 seconds. Not bad, it's one minute. Look at that. Okay, let's give it another minute. Just follow exactly what this guy's saying. All right, let's do 20 more seconds. And this filter was really sticky. I think the guy before me, he used something like Bell Ray because I could see that it was blue and it was really sticky for a long time because he didn't really you know, ride the bike. He was probably sitting like that in the bike for a long time and it was pretty dirty, but still it's coming off really easy. Alrighty, we are at two minutes right now. I'll squeeze it out. This away. So this is after two minutes. Not bad. All right. So let's take it out, rinse it in, uh, at the hose, and see how it looks. Squeeze all these things out. All right, so the guys from WR Performance told me that I will be able to clean my filter within like two minutes using their product. And they were right. Look at this filter. I sink it in that thing for like two minutes, rinse it in the water for another one minute, and this thing is nice and clean, ready to be used again. And check out this mess. So this was 
in my filter look at all the dirt that came out and the uh, thing got really strong discoloration it's uh, green I think the guy that had a filter before used Bellray probably so at this point I'll just keep this in the bucket and I keep cleaning more filters in it if it gets very dirty I will filter it to some kind of filter cloth and then pour the stuff back in the bucket and I should be good to go all right guys the bottom line do I like it would I recommend it to you guys yes I would I like the product it worked exactly the way they told me it would work I spent two minutes the filter was super nasty you saw it before and I got rid of all the oil and I got rid of all the dirt that was in the filter rinsed it outside and uh, it's nice and clean ready to be used for my next ride so if you want to give it a shot I'll put link below in the description there is 10% uh, discount with dirt and iron 10 something like that I'll put link there go click on it get one and see how it works let me know then below in the comments how you liked it and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated see you guys later